Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 23rd of uh, June 2020 and we have a number of very interesting news. The first news is from the heart of the space side from Aberfeldy. Aberfeldy is getting a new distillery manager. The distillery manager is John McKenzie and he is following Carol Moore and um, yeah he is already her yeah, second in command since 2013. So now he's first in command and uh, yeah, he knows this stuff as he has been to, with the distillery for a long time now. Then we have news from Port Escape. Port Escape is unveiling a 12 year old whiskey. Uh, the U, uh, independent bottler um, Elixir Distillers is unveiling this Port Escape in the spring edition. Uh, it's a Isla single malt and it's from 2006 and 2007 and is filled with 45.8% ABV. Then we have news from the Lakes Distillery and it's presenting the Whiskey Makers Reserve 2003. It's the third uh, edition of the Whiskey Makers Reserve series. It's a single malt from PX, Oloroso, cream, cream Sherry and Red Wine casks. It has 54.7% uh, ABV, not colored, not chill filtered, and it is limited yeah, to 9,700 bottles. Then we have news from the big company of Diageo and they are working again on their Johnny Walker Visitor Center in Edinburgh. Yeah, we already uh, covered this. They stopped on the 23rd of May at uh, March, March uh, because of the Corona crisis. And now they are continuing to work on that. And they have already um, that 150 million pound investment program. And uh, we've already covered this and the um, Visitor Center in Edinburgh about Johnny Walker will be the yeah the biggest the hard piece of that whole investment series. Then we go over to Ireland and we go to Teeling. I visited the Teeling Distillery I think in June or July 2015 and that was the time when they opened the distillery right after the uh, one or two weeks after they opened I visited them and made a nice distillery video about it and now that is five years ago yeah time goes by and now they are celebrating their fifth anniversary and uh, now they have already greeted over 500,000 visitors and I have to say yeah that's a really big achievement congratulations to the distilling distillery and uh, unfortunately, they will not be able to celebrate it publicly on the 8th, 18th of June. Uh, or didn't, wasn't, weren't able to celebrate it on the 18th of June, uh, but they will open on the 29th of June to the public and have uh, visitor tours as we already reported yesterday. Then we go over to the US and a big deal was unveiled in the US. Yeah, Brown Foreman is selling early times and Canadian mist to Sazerac. Yeah, they're both companies with a lot of spirit experience. And now they're selling early times, which is like an entry level cheap one and Canadian mist, which is a hmm, yeah, fairly good one to Sazerac. And Brown Foreman is doing that because they want to focus on their premium brands like Woodford Reserve. Yeah. Um, amongst that is also the brand of Collingwood. And yeah, they will probably work together now with Buffalo Trace more as uh, Buffalo Trace is kind of the lead within the Sazerac. But uh, they will probably also have a lot of independence as yeah, usually that is with distilleries in the whiskey business. And then we have the international uh, international news. Uh, in France, we have the Celtic whiskey uh, company was sold to Mas Mason Wilvert. Wilvert, Wilvert, I don't know. Um, in 1997, the Celtic whiskey company was founded in the Breton 
and uh, the portfolio of that company has the brands of Glan, Glan with double N, R More, and Cornock Whiskey, and also the Glan R More uh, Distillery. Um, yeah, and now they are being sold. But hopefully, that sounds like we have another spirits company taking over, and we have good whiskey uh, developing there. Yeah, that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.